If you're looking to break into cybersecurity, I'm going to tell you what you need to do to break into cyber in less than six months. At the end of this video, I'm even going to tell you how many hours you need to dedicate to being able to break into this field. But before we jump in, make sure you smash the subscribe button. I'm always giving out valuable information. I've been in this industry for 25 years, and let me tell you, my goal is to make your journey a little easier than mine. The first thing that you need to understand is that there are very few fields like cybersecurity where you can create your own path to enter. These are the only main things that you need to do. One, gain knowledge, and two, get hired. So let's talk about the first one, gaining knowledge. No one cares how you gain the knowledge, but I'm going to give you a push start. Here are the steps that you need to start on gaining knowledge. Learn how, number one, to analyze packets. You must understand what is inside a network packet for both offense and defensive security. Learn how to determine the source, destination, and the information that's in that packet. A great start would be using a free tool called Wireshark. Two, learn how to discover. What do I mean? I typically would use another free tool such as Nmap to do recon. Learn about different operating systems and the ports and services that go with them. You should be able to simply look at what ports and services are open to make a determination of what type of system it is and what it is running. This is the most important in both offense and defensive security. Third, learn what a vulnerability is and how to exploit it. This is normally done with the scanner such as OpenVAS or Nessus. Scanners will help you determine the vulnerabilities that exist. Then tools such as Metasploit, which is built into the Kali OS, are used to exploit those vulnerabilities. You can practice this with test labs, such as on your own or even try hack me. This is important for offense and defense. Even if you understand the offensive tools and how they work, you will also better understand how you can defend those systems. Next, Learn and understand how SIM tools work. For example, Splunk will give you some hands-on. All of this above falls under knowledge gain. In parallel, not after, but in parallel, you should also be working on a plan of how you're going to get hired. No, you aren't ready for a position as soon as you start your knowledge gain path, but you should already be preparing. So how do you prepare to get hired? You get your face out there. In order to get hired, you must start preparing now. Do this by building your brand on LinkedIn. Show your enthusiasm. Share the knowledge you are gaining on your journey. Connect with others in the cybersecurity community. Tweak your profile to all of the knowledge that you are gaining. Engage with others in the community. This all falls under getting hired. If you go hard at this for six months and you do both of these in parallel, knowledge gain and getting hired, you can change your career in six months or less. A good suggestion would be three hours a day, 15 hours a week, 60 hours a month for a total of 360 hours in six months. But here's the key. Dividing these into two categories would look like this. 180 hours into knowledge gain and 180 hours into getting hired. If you do these things for six months, you can certainly get a job in this field. This is a fantastic field and a fantastic path. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And again, make sure you subscribe for more videos. Take care.